And next up, a very popular way to learn maths. We'll be talking to Mr. Woo Tube. Eddie Woo to you. Well, how are you at maths? Are you any good? Do you remember your maths teacher when you were at school? Eddie Wu is the head mathematics teacher at Cherrybrook Technology High School in Northwest Sydney. He's also known as Mr. WooTube. He created the internet sensation WooTube, which recently won him a national teaching award. Have a little listen. What was the very first topic that we started this year? Do you remember? Yep. Integers. Integers. Perfect. Now, you remember I made a big deal about the name integers and it had a meaning, right? What was it? What were, why are integers called integers? Yeah, Morgan. Because an integer is a whole number. Exactly right. An integer, right? Where we get the word integral from, uh, which means, you know, all in one piece, not falling apart. It means whole, okay? And now we are looking at fractions. I think you guys can um, do a pretty good job here. I'm gonna ask you to do this on your own for a second. I want you to write down a definition for fractions are, okay? And I expect we'll get a few different ones, okay? But I want you to write down, because I know you've met these before, I want to see what kinds of meanings, definitions. Give me a sentence. What is a fraction? Well, how about that? That uh, all sounds like everyone is very much engaged with uh, Mr. Wu. Eddie Wu is the uh, head mathematics teacher, as I say, at Cherry Book Tech High School. Joins me now. Hello there, Eddie. Good morning, Wendy. It's lovely to be with you. Yes, well, you have um, well, you've just been doing incredibly well with this Woo Tube. I was uh, looking online there. Lots and lots of uh, topics. Um, and uh, you know, I guess presented in a fun and engaging way. One of the things I was looking at was uh, um, you were explaining trifectas and we're using, I think, the analogy of lanes in a swimming pool or something. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me, making sure that mathematics is engaging and connected to the real world is one of the things that students and teachers love best to do. So trying to bring that to the masses as much as we can. So how many Woo Tubes do you have? Um, well, I started out just uh, putting these videos up really actually just for a single student. Um, that's where it began. And to my surprise, a lot of other students, students from other classes, students from the schools, um, and then teachers actually became interested. So I put up videos in a couple of different places, one that's aimed at just regular students in the classroom and one that's more aimed at teachers and equipping them. Yeah, and you have about 20,000 followers now. Yeah, it's, I'm as surprised as anyone else that it's been so, uh, you know, uh, well taken up. But I, I think that speaks to the fact that people really do want to learn and are willing to put in the work if they can uh, have an entry into a subject, into a topic that engages them and, and makes sense to them. But even more than that, uh, Eddie... Two million hits here and overseas. Two million people looking at your YouTubes about maths. Who knew? It's um when when I first started having a look at it and putting these things up, I thought I actually I really didn't think anyone would look, which is why people said to me, "Oh, aren't you self conscious about you know putting a, a camera up in the middle of your classroom and everything you say?" And my answer is, "Well, I, I never was because I never thought all that many people would pay attention." <laughs> but um, I think the fact that it's just it's a real classroom and it's exactly what my students get um, day to day is one of the reasons why people get you know this is down to earth. It's um it's honest and it's it's open. So, uh, Eddie, we're looking at uh, the kids, uh, my daughter is one, they started HSC today, mm. uh, next year's graduating lot, and the percentage of students learning maths for the New South Wales Higher School Certificate has fallen to its lowest level in 50 years. It's at about 77.6%, it was about 95% 30 years ago. Mm. What's going on, do you reckon? Well, there's a whole bunch of different factors. Mm. I mean, one of the things that I think is um, the most apparent is that a lot of students are sort of foregoing mathematics because um, partly they don't see the need for it as they leave school. A lot of degrees um, used to list mathematics as a prerequisite for study um, or even people who weren't going into, you know, tertiary study, university, that kind of thing, recognize that mathematics is a really core part of just being a normal functioning um, 
citizen who can understand the world around us. And I think that image has kind of um, sort of steadily declined over the years. And so people are sort of doing the smart thing in terms of trying to maximize, well, now it's their ATAR, and thinking, well, if I can, you know, go into a subject which maybe doesn't require as much effort, I mean, mathematics is incredibly practical, you can't just do it by, you know, absorbing it passively. You've got to practically get your hands dirty. And if I can, you know, get a subject that'll get me a good mark and not have to put in that incredible mental effort, then I'll go for that. So I think that's one of the big things that's contributed to that decline. Mm -hmm. And what is the answer? Well, I think that, you know, it's a bit of a a mirage, to be honest, to think that we can sort of um, forego mathematics. I mean, obviously I'm biased, but all around me I can see numbers and patterns Mm -hmm. and relationships that being able to understand mathematics and and not being afraid of it, even if there's something I don't understand immediately, I have the the tools and the, the attitudes to be able to approach this world around me understand it, make good decisions. So I think students and, and, and teachers and parents all really need to get a handle on that and understand, hey, this is, this is important for everyone. Everyone needs to be numerate in the same way that everyone needs to be literate. That's just an expectation in today's society. So I think sort of changing that cultural attitude is really important. Mm. And there's a disparity too, isn't there, between girls and boys studying maths? Um, at the um, at the intermediate level, it's eighteen uh, percent girls and twenty point five percent boys. Uh, do we see that changing at, at all, Eddie? Well, I, I hope I hope that there's a lot of change uh, in the offing. I know that there's lots of um, there's lots of initiatives. I'm involved in some of them that are specifically aimed at sort of equipping girls and making sure they understand they're just as capable as the boys. I think that sometimes um, some of the girls that we teach. Sometimes we'll sort of are away from thinking, oh, this is, is a bit of a reputation, that it's a boy's subject, and even that can be a bit of a turnoff. But I think that's, um, I think that's a mistake. I mean, uh, this year, in fact, I, um, I'm teaching a mathematics extension to year 12 class that's about to do their exams in the next couple of weeks for the HSC. And some of my finest students, the most diligent, the most creative and thoughtful students, are the girls. And so everything we can do to encourage them and make sure they can see their path forward as mathematicians or engineers or any other profession where mathematics touches that, um, we want them to be able to see, hey, there's a future here for you. And so Mm. don't give up. Well, you won the Teacher Excellence Award at the Australian Mathematical Science Institute's uh, National um, Choose Math Awards. Well, congratulations there, Eddie. Very kind of you. Yeah, and uh, what's winning the award meant to you? How's it been for your career in teaching? It's been, to be honest, it's it's quite astonishing to have so much attention sort of drawn toward us because, to be honest, um, I I think I can speak for most teachers in that we we don't want to single ourselves out. We enjoy being in the classroom being with our um, our 30 students in front of us and um, you know making sure they just get the best learning experience they can yep. year on year and that, that's what really matters to us so I think it's just been kind of you know a really nice thing to have the hard work that all teachers do um, recognized and mm-hmm. valued I, I think that um, education and schooling is often something that's a bit um, thrown around a bit like a political football sometimes and people forget there's just like in many other fields there's people who are working hard every day to make sure the next generation is equipped and skillful and um, yeah, encouraged to pursue all of the different capabilities and um, potential that they have. Oh, you sound brilliant. And what about the kids at Cherrybrook? Do they, uh, do they mind being on the WooTube? Uh, it's, it's quite funny. I think um, every, every class that I teach, the first time I, um, I literally have just an iPad that sits on top of a tripod in the middle of my room and it's connected to a microphone. And right at the beginning of the year, if there's a student in my class who, or students in my class who haven't experienced it before, it kind of a little weirded out. And they, they always ask me, sir, can that, can that thing hear my voice? And I say, yes, it yeah. can. Can it see me? <laughs> no, it can't. And they sort of are a little bit cautious, but very rapidly. I mean, this is a, this is a selfie kind of, you know, self broadcast generation, they very quickly realize oh, it's, it's, it's no big deal. It's about the learning. And in fact, some of them are quite tickled pink. You know, they have friends who, who will contact them and say, hey, I, I, I heard, you know, Mr. Wu, and he was talking about you. He, he mentioned your name in class. Yeah. I said, yeah, that's because I was talking to you. Oh, that's so, cool. I think they quite enjoy it, honestly. Well, yeah, and I, I guess the idea, and, and, I, and I love this, Eddie, is that... Um, people who just want that bit of extra tuition, maybe they fall behind in class or they're sick or they're away or whatever, they can jump on the old WooTube and catch up. 
Absolutely. I mean, I can't even remember what I had for breakfast two weeks ago, let alone some complex mathematical concept I learned two months or two years ago. And so it's really just a great um, resource I've found for, for students to dip into, for teachers to dip into, just to, sometimes just to get another perspective. You know, I'm not the, I'm definitely not like the smartest mathematician or, or even the smartest math teacher out there, but I just have my own way of explaining things. And sometimes you just want another angle um, on an mm. idea or a concept or a skill. Mm, mm. Well, well, brilliant, and people should check in at uh, YouTube. They go to YouTube, yep. of course, and then they just put in Mr. Woo Tube. Yep, you'll find me up right at the top. Yeah. Okay, well, brilliant. Well done, you. Thanks so much for joining us, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. And uh, good luck with all your HSC students in their exams. When are they starting? Uh, yeah, so the first exams begin on Thursday. Yep. And the mathematics exams begin next week. Yes, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, my daughter's just started. She's one of the graduating – she'll be graduating next year. So she's just uh, started her year and a bit today. No, that's so, exciting. Best of luck to her. Yeah, they're feeling very, very grown up. Good on you. Thanks so much uh, for joining us, Eddie. Thanks, Wendy. It was a pleasure. Eddie Wu, Head Mathematics Teacher at Cherrybrook Technology High School. And, uh, yeah, something, I guess, for HSC students who are starting on Thursday. Um, maybe you can go and do a little bit of a brush-up on a few, um, few um, you know, um, uh, well, basic bits of knowledge, I suppose, at, uh, at WooTube. Go and check it out. It's good.